Hi, I'm Steve Brady. I'm a music teacher at Capella Bar State College and I've been teaching music for about five years and I've been teaching for about nine years. So I started off as a primary school teacher um, and then once I was in the school they started moving me around um, based on my talents. I did a few drawings for some principals and they took them to their new schools and uh, they saw what I could do and they um, just put me into the subject to try it out and see how I went. And I loved it and that's where my passions are so obviously I put lots and lots of effort into trying to do a good job. Then uh, they made me a full-time art and music teacher and since then I've just believed in myself and uh, believed that other people sort of might appreciate what I do. So since then um, I've really just sort of gone full force in trusting my thoughts and my heart and my um, and what I'm trying to achieve, I guess. I just really enjoyed um, working with others and teaching others. And uh, I, I play with the kids and they, and they teach me and I teach them and it's just a circle of learning, I love it. I got excited um, when I started seeing some of the kids play and at our school in particular, it's a low socioeconomic school and there was uh, different ethnicities within the school and I really enjoyed listening to different, uh, different music and the different styles that they were playing around the school, so much so that I just had to uh, jam with them one day and it was like a sports carnival day and I brought my jambes in and just started joining in with them and then we, we just created this vibe and that was the moment that I really realised that I wanted to do this full time because I wasn't actually a music teacher at that time. The whole idea of trying to bring artists into the school has always been a challenge because it always comes down to money, costs, um, and things like that. So a few years ago I got a band in um, and the, I managed to secure some funds, but I felt like that's unsustainable because um, we don't have the funds to do that at our school. Um, then so what I did after that was we had to come up with an idea. How could we get musos to come in here, some professional musos to inspire our students? So um, I just one day, for example, with the Year 10s, I, I got them to record a song. Um, and then I sent it to the artist, so the, like the professional artist. So once that artist had heard it, hopefully they'd be inspired enough to send us an email or just send us a bit of advice or send us some encouragement um, to, to our students so they can be inspired and think, wow, that person actually um, appreciates what I do too. And they're, they're a professional. So um, Amy Shark, for example, came in. She listened to the kids and she was so excited. She played back and, and that was amazing. So. From now, I think that that's the way we have to target professional artists. Well, yeah, so basically this happened before it got really, really ridiculously crazy, which is fantastic because I got the chance to actually reply. Now it's, life's a little bit crazy at the moment, but I'm so glad that I read that and um, I said to my management, um, I need to see this school. Like, I've never had anyone care this much about my music before, um, let alone a whole group of kids in a you know a music class so I don't know it just felt super super special and um, I didn't want to um, yeah I, I definitely wanted to make the time and um, yeah I'm so glad that I did. I was blown away it was like <laughs> I when they first started firstly when I had those backing like everything the whole song the way they've structured it is so beautiful like it's such a stripped back it's yeah, it's so melodic, and um, a lot of the time I was like, hey, I should have put that in the song. Um, but I, it was very emotional, I think, like because yeah, like I said, I've never had anyone care this much um, about one of my songs. So to see see this whole stage of kids, um, you know, in year ten, um, play my song back to me in such a beautiful way. You know, they've been practicing for weeks. It just it, I had to. <laughs> hold back the tears a little bit. It was pretty emotional, so it was beautiful. I'm just gonna stand with my back hanging off my left arm. I'm just gonna walk home kicking stones at park cars. But I had a great night cause you kept rubbing against my arm. I'm just gonna stand with my back hanging off my left arm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it exceeded my expectations. I honestly thought that uh, she'd come in, she'd be restricted, she'd just do a thing and go, but she was just so, it was like she just dropped all the boundaries and she was so open with the kids. She uh, let them, let every kid get a signature, get photos. She stayed longer than she was supposed to. She was just really humble and I was just blown away by how it actually went compared to how I thought it was going to go. It exceeded my expectations, that's for sure. You remind me of, um, what's his name, Dewey, of um, School of Rock. Oh! oh.
How are you? No, I'm feeling I'm feeling really excited for us as a college to just have this wonderful opportunity. It's certainly not something that happens every day to have a current performing artist come and visit the college, uh, but then also listen to the students perform their piece of work. It's amazing. Um, it's certainly something that uh, the students will never forget. Certainly a, a wonderful credit to uh, Steve Brady uh, and to, to have the courage to send the work along and to get a response. Um, I look at all their talent and all their skill levels and I try and see that um, I, I believe that talent alone is not enough and, and it's on work ethic and um, it's how bad you want it. So I look for that drive within kids and I look for the passion because some kids are talented and don't have the passion. So even the kids that have the passion but not yet the talent, they're the ones I want because they're the ones I can sort of teach and they're the ones because they want it bad and, they, and they'll be there after class and they'll be the ones practicing um, every day and, and that's kind of what excites me. Thing. So, so music's uh, a great positive outlet for chilling out, for, for, it's like a meditation. So I want kids to learn it as a positive, productive tool to be able to help them through life. So in one of my classes, um, not every kid's a performer. So we look, for, we look at the behind the scenes stuff as well, the stuff that actually makes people money and um, full-time jobs. Um, so you could be a roadie, you could be a sound engineer, you could be a lighting engineer or whatever. So we look for not so much their talents, but what they actually want to do because it's hard to force a child to do a role that they're not passionate about. So I, I ask them first and I ask them what they want to do and then we try and harness that into one big project a lot of the time. So um, I'll, look, there could be, uh, I'll look at the class, there could be a drummer, there could be a, a guitarist, there could be a few guitarists. We could put one on ukulele, we could put one on bass. We could, when we try and uh, work together, I try and teach them how to work in bands. My goal as a music teacher is to come in and um, teach the kids the tricks of the trade. So um, get professional musicians that know what, they've, uh, what the secrets are and share them with the uh, younger up and coming musicians. <laughs> He was in Raise the Bar and I knew one of the members of Raise the Bar, Mick Quinn, and I asked him to maybe, uh, maybe we could put some drum workshops on at school and he gave me um, James's contact. I got in contact and James is more than willing to help and which is absolutely fantastic. He's got a massive passion for teaching others and for spreading his talents and showing people how he does it. School was interesting for me. Um, I. I struggled a little bit at school. Um, I I found it a little bit difficult to make friends. The only way that I could overcome uh, situations like that in school was drumming. And I could come home after a day at school and just play out on the drums. Did you all enjoy that? <laughs> the show he did at school was absolutely awesome. The kids absolutely loved it. They were screaming, there was a bit of an encore. And at the end, kids were trying to get, it, get his signature off him and because they were so impressed with his skill level. He's actually mind-blowing. I mean, he just makes their jaws drop on the ground because he's that amazing. It shows a level of commitment that um, our students can really aspire to achieve. He's a world-class drummer. He's not been defined by his disability. He's been defined by his ability. Uh, I, I apologise to the other teachers for my crazy ideas and, well, and my madness, but that's just who I am. I can't help it.